The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to your Easter Wednesday devotion. Today I want to talk to you about uh, something that I've always practiced throughout my ministry. And that is when it gets to Easter and Christmas worship, I never make fun or try to guilt the people who are there uh, one time or two times out of the year. I don't do that because I know that when they come to hear God's word, there may be something on that day that speaks to them. There may be something on that day that brings them back because that's what our faith is. Our faith is not something we just believe and move on to the rest of our agenda. No, it's something that we live. It's relationship. I want to share with you a passage uh, from the book of Romans. Paul writes this. He says, if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's a beautiful passage. It's about what we say we believe. It's about what's going on in our heart. But that's not the end of it because it's a relationship. And that's really what uh, the author Henry Nowen talks about in the book we've been working through, uh, The Only Necessary Thing. This is called Nurturing Eternal Life Within Us. The knowledge that Jesus came to dress our mortal bodies with immortality must help us develop an inner desire to be born to a new eternal life with him and encourage us to find ways to prepare for it. It is important to nurture constantly the life of the Spirit of Jesus, which is eternal life that is already in us. Baptism gave us this life. The Eucharist maintains it, and our spiritual practices such as prayer, meditation, spiritual reading, and spiritual guidance can help us to deepen and solidify it. The sacramental life and life with the Word of God gradually make us ready to let go of our mortal bodies and to receive the mantle of immortality. Thus death is not the enemy who puts an end to everything, but the friend who takes us by the hand and leads us into the kingdom of eternal love. Isn't that great? It's all about an ongoing relationship. And so that's why when somebody shows up and I haven't seen them or I don't know who they are, I'm so happy they're here because maybe that word of God will speak to them that day. Maybe it'll bring them back the next week and the week after that so they can get to know Jesus and be a part of this amazing community that we have. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that your Son came down for all people. We thank you, Lord, that your message is for everyone. And we pray that we would always keep our hearts and minds open to this. It's not just about what we say. It's not just about what we tell people we believe. It's about living and walking with you in your way, with your people, for the good of your kingdom. Lord, I ask that in this season of Easter, you would continue to lead us. Lead us, O oh Lord, by the power of the risen Christ. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you. And once again, the Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.